Okay, so we're going to hook up We have a Turk TPEN S2 for IOL and we need to get it connected and commissioned. So we're using this Packware 4.1 software. Start it up. I have already used the IODD DTM configurator to bring in which is this right here. I already added this IODD file right here just by clicking add and I clicked on this file and I brought it in and then it's now in we go back to the software uh, we need to add a device and we click on service Ethernet if you double click this you have this information here and you have online available you can add devices manually if you want uh, in this case it's an ethernet ip on machine and you would do a search for the bl uh, or tben so tben tben s2 for io I would add that. The alternative way is online. You click on this search window here. If you want to uh, modify settings from default, you come into here, modify this right here. We'll call this 168, for example. And now you notice that this button right here becomes active. I can hit transfer to device. If I cycle power or by this restart here, scan again, we know for sure that it's taken. Uh, over here now, we need to add this to the project. So let's just put this down here. It's adding it over here on the left. So it's now active. And double click on the device. Uh, going back to this one here. This right here selects your net network card, okay? So if you're not scanning what you want to see, then you're on the wrong network, I'm assuming. Um, go back to this device here so I can close this one. This is the close button right here. And there's this with confirmation, without confirmation. So I'm just going to hit apply. And I turned off deactivate Propionet because we're using Ethernet IP. And the next thing is we want to configure our ports. So there's this here. And turn this off. You get a different view. But basically, because I'm offline, I have these are the defaults. Um, drop down here. You basically need to activate this, activate that. I can do a I'm going to say this is IO without activation activate output yes yeah we'll put a pin too I don't know if I need this right here but uh, this looks like it's going to turn on the, the power for the load on the on the valve terminal but uh, it doesn't I had to actually wire a thing in there and I have it connected to port 1 so I'm going to connect the device select my valve <coughs> up here I'm going to Store to device, yes. So we're here, store to device, yes. Uh, 
and I am connected. So I go to force mode, connect over here. I can say connect or it's there. We're in force mode, so if I double click here, I can go to process data. And right to device download. And I just turned the first output on. Wrong button, sorry. Turn another output on. And that's it working. It would save the project here. I come over here and I can, now that I'm online, I can do a uh, read data from device. And I'm not using these other ports, so to avoid the red lights, I'm just going to turn them all off. Store to device. Now all the LEDs are up. Off red. And that's good. Save the project. Call it something worthwhile. And uh, there I have it. What I did here is I changed the uh, data mapping to direct. Uh, if I was on uh, swap 16, which was the default, uh, when I turned on the uh, first first output, it would turn on uh, you know, bit 9 instead of the right one. So um, within the download of from the website here, so this right here, we downloaded all this different things. We downloaded, there's the download. The link for this should be right here, literature. The um, configuration file, I downloaded this right here, EDS file and catalog files. And when you go to the directory, you get this right here. So you go into the zip file, um, I've already extracted here. You've got this Turk catalog, and you've got uh, some L5K files that are included. I open up the full and extract it to an ACD file. The ACD file, so basically it came through here with all these ACD files. I mean, all these uh, modules. And then I've simply found the TBN S2 for IOL. I then drag that to my project. Uh, they had had a host name of A160. I changed that to the IP address there. I connected and downloaded. And now when I come into here, my output word, if I type in three, whatever I do here, basically, do too. Turns on all the outputs for the first uh, four valves. And then uh, this would be the, the next valve. So that's <sighs> bit eight is valve number if you started one, two, three, four, five, valve five, output 14. This basically right here tells you the bit number and everything. It's all good. 
and uh, that's it. Working project. Uh, just want to point out one last thing here. So the CPV valve terminal has this uh, event code here, and when you have a loss of load voltage, it gives you this most significant 5112. Uh, so if you're looking in here, if I pull the power here, so I'm just going to put this back to decimal. I'm going to drop the power for the load on the valve, pull it out. See the value the status changes over here. Um, it's going to show you right here. And there's my 5112. Um, I don't know what this is here. Wrong device hardware error. I don't know what this is, but basically, you know. That premise of wrong or missing data, data storage or hardware error, process input data, invalid maintenance out. Over voltage, under voltage, over voltage, all that kind of stuff. I don't know where that data is here, but maybe it's in the manual, but that's the kind of information you get when you have a drop of power on the input word. And then when I give it back, it goes away.